Hey guys, it's Just the Crafter coming to you with a quick Dollar Tree haul. In this case, a Dollar 25 haul, okay? Um, very small, not too big, not a big haul at all. Really nice and simple. Um, only a $30 haul, not too bad. So, Let's jump right into it, okay? Don't mind my hair. I know it looks a little crazy, but the wind outside in New York is like freezing. Half the time it's like below, you know, eight, the 20s and stuff like that. Like it's really, really freezing now in New York um, for some reason. And I just can't wait for the hot weather to come already and just bless us, okay? So with that being said, let's move on and let's just get into this haul while well, we can nothing is separated or categorized today so i'm just getting right into it okay so me and my mom like to use the Velveeta cheese sauce for our broccoli and cheese or for our mac and cheese um we like to make everything um our way when it comes to uh mac and cheese or you know the broccoli and cheese like how they do for um the Wendy's potatoes and things like that. So we use this pack. Always check the date. The date is always on the side right here. So I grabbed one because there was only one left in the store. I also grabbed two of these. They're good for $1.25. You're not even getting them for $1.25 in the regular corner store. They're like $2 for these cans. Or you get two for three. So I got... I got two and I say 50 cents basically. So whatever. It's the same thing. Then um, I found these. They've had them for a while. It's apple snacks, homestyle applesauce sweetened. That's what it says. We've made with real fruit suggested servings. Um, and it says four of four ounces. Um, there's 16 ounce in total. It says gluten free. It's also says best by, uh, July 6, 2023. So this is still until next year. I've never tried these. I have never tried this brand. Um, I don't know if they're any good, but I am going to try it since lately I have been craving fruits and vegetables like crazy since I've stopped smoking. So I bought these, um, Hopefully they're really good because I told my daughter if they're really good, I'll just keep buying these instead of having to buy the big jug bottles and then I'm the only one buying, eating them. At least this comes in portions and I can eat one little cup by myself and stuff like that. And I can have a little snack for the day that'll hold me off. Um, so yeah, um, I grabbed that. What else did I grab? Then I grabbed these. For Valentine's Day these will be going with the other candies that I grabbed the last time it's a little mermaid it's a little mermaid then you have the gamer and then you have the superhero so I grabbed these three and then I also grabbed Oh, that was all for the food. Okay, that was all food and, and stuff like that. So yeah, I grabbed that. Then I grabbed for the kitchen because I did not see that they came out with a theme for Valentine's Day for kitchen uh, kitchen stuff or, you know, for decor for the kitchen like they usually do, like the the mats and the, the mittens and, you know, the pot holders. So I just grabbed red ones for the kitchen. Just grabbed regular red one and then I grabbed a red um, dish drying mat. So this is going to be now in the kitchen. I'm going to switch out the one I have and put this one in and then put this uh, on the top. I was going to add a design on this, but I chose not to. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I already know it's going to be for Valentine's because once I stop using them, they go put away in the same bin and that's it. I wash them and then put them in the bin. That's it. Then, in decoration wise, I found... The Fuzzy Friends Chocolate Scented. Oh, it does smell like chocolate. Oh my God, it smells like chocolate. Oh, and it smells like dark chocolate. Or milk chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. So, 
this was the only one I wanted because I have other ones from last year. I have the red, I have the pink. Um, so I grabbed this one because I'm going to incorporate in this in my little um, decor around the house. I probably put it on the tree that I have in front of the, the window. And I loved it the most because the detailing on the foot, like it's, the other one has like um, little hearts with a red and the red one has the same thing, like a little red heart here on the side. But this one has this little bow tie with the little hearts. And then he got the mint ears. I love anything with this baby color mint. I'm obsessed with this baby color mint. So anyone that knows me knows I love that. And then I notice his nose is a little heart. Um, and his face is a little squished, but all you got to do is just like smooth the material and it gets fixed as you can see. And there you go. Now he's back to normal. So he's fine. Um, but I grabbed this for more decoration uh, reasons. So I thought that was cute. And then guys, I finally, finally, I've been, I've been dying to find these, um, oversized gnomes, uh, and I finally got them and then they only had three colors, but I only could only see, um, they only had the same ones when I saw, and then there was a lady online, which thank you to her. She was the nicest lady ever. She saw, I asked her where did she get the, the, the other one at? Here's one, this is a girl. Here's one and it's a decent size, okay? Like look at from where I have it at, like, Honestly, it takes up my whole arm. Like, let's go from pinky to arm. Like, it's almost towards my elbow. So, that is a pretty good deal for $1.25. So, I grabbed her. I got the red and white with the red um, hearts. Then, they didn't have any more of the pink ones. And I seen another lady in her cart with a pink one. And then, the, the lady behind me, she grabbed, I guess, the last one. And she told me, oh, they're right there. And when she went to show me... There was no more, so she felt bad, and she gave me the one out of her cart, and she ended up just taking two of the of these red boy ones. So you got the red and pink one that are the girl. Like you got, I got two girls and a boy. I honestly did not like the other boy that they had. He looked a little bit crazy, and he didn't look like Valentine's material. They're more like for Christmas. But these two look this so cute. And honestly, you can even use the all red and white for Christmas as well. So I might just incorporate him with the ones for Christmas. But I thought that was the cutest thing ever. You might even be able to use the pink one for Easter. Because if you use pink, and you can use and incorporate it for Easter. But I thought these were so cute. I've been dying to get them. Oh my God, guys, look. That's, what? They're so cute. So I grabbed those. And again, kudos, I wish I knew her name, the lady, so I can like shout her out here. And if she had an Instagram, I would have said it. But I, kudos to her because she gave, she 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 was so nice. She just said, oh no, here, it's not a big deal. You could take it, go ahead. They're going on my window anyways. And that's exactly what they're for, my window. So I thought that was amazing. And then that is everything for decor i didn't really buy much like i said it was a very simple small little haul this might be the actual little like literally the smallest smallest haul i've ever seen okay so then i don't know if anyone has used these i don't know how good these are but this is the first time i've seen them at my do local dollar tree and i decided to buy them because it says wow a dollar value and it says liquid laundry detergent pods for use in all washes including he oh and you could use them for any washer and i guess that you're gonna wherever you wash your clothes um and they bring 10 in the pack and i i thought that was great for the deal it says uh for laundry use only, standard machine, drop one gel pod into washer before adding clothes. Drop one gel pod directly into the drum or into the drum of your washing machine. Do not place in the HE dispenser tray. I don't know what that is, but I have a regular standard washer, so it will be going in before I put in any clothes. So that way the water touches it and it dissolves faster. 
Um, then it says for standard pods, one gel pod regular load, two gel pods for heavy soiled extra loads. And then it says use three pods for washer at full capacity. That is completely amazing how it tells you how to use it. And this is just distributed by Midwood Brands. It's a, uh, it's a Sheepski, Sheepski, Virginia. This is a product from Virginia. Then it says, not 100% satisfied, return package and unused product within 30 days to any family dollar store for a refund with receipt or exchange. So I knew I've seen them somewhere else and this is a family dollar item for a dollar. Honestly, I could smell them through the bag and they smell amazing. So I brought four of these and it brings 10. So I got four, I spent uh, $5 basically on this right here, $5 for 40. And honestly, you don't get that anywhere. So it's a great deal. I don't know if they're any good. It's my first time seeing them. It's my first time buying them. If anyone knows about this product, please comment below. Let me know if you have tried these out and if these are any good. Honestly, if they're not, then I can just always use it with my, my whites and my bleaches. So, Or I can just use it as another way to clean my washer out. Because you could use anything to just wash your, and clean your, your, your washing machine. Then... I finally found the soft scrub, soft scrub toilet care. Basically, these are, you put them in your tank and it makes your water blue and it scrubs and it lasts up to four weeks, which is a month in your tank. I buy these every time I can find them. Home Depot, they're very hard to find and they're more than the dollar twenty-five. I'm basically spending like $3 and some change just for one each. So... For $1.25, it's not bad. And again, I bought four of these. So that's an, that's another $5 I, I spent on it. And to be honest, I would have spent more at Home Depot for just two. I would have probably spent $6. So, and some change. Um, this one is Sapphire Waters. It's a dual cube in the tank automatic toilet cleaner. Helps fight toilet rain, hard water, and lime scum lime scale stains safe for toilet compa compounds use easy to use so sorry and they also have a packaging date on the back so be mindful about that too these are recently packaged so these are still good i don't see an expiration date so they might not expire these are 1.76 ounces do not not a disinfectant or a sanitizer that's what it says it says safe for septic tanks toilet composites cleans and freshens with every flush so i grab these and it says for best result clean toilet bowl thoroughly take one cube do not remove protective wrap on cube um it is water saluted so basically it dissolves with the water it says remove lid from toilet tank and flush when water is low drop tube and tank near side wall away from water valves opening on bottom wait 10 minutes before flushing again store store remaining cubes out of reach of children and pets once the water is no longer blue cube is gone so basically it tells you everything you need to do so i bought these i bought four of those and i have not found these not even in home depot in a very long time and this one is this one is two weeks freshness this is the lysol hygienic hygiene hygienic automatic toilet cleaner Atlantic Fresh Scent. I bought this. This is a 0 0.91 ounce. Um, I put these on all my toilets on the side. Um, it also says you can put these in your trash can. It says um, anti-microbial -mi uh, protection in the hook to resist 
odors caused by bacteria. Cleans fra fragrance lasts up to two weeks. Um, it says usage instructions, release, release block by cutting package open following double, do, dotted line. So sorry, I can't read to that. That it says uncurl hook by gently snapping support pins located at the base of the hook. Do not use scissors or a knife as this may damage the hook. Then it says clip securely onto rim of toilet where water flows is maximum. And then it says when use, used up, simply dispose the, dispose the unit in the trash and replace. So these are definitely a go-to. So I grabbed four of these as well. Because when you see them, you got to buy them. Because then you don't find them and then you won't get them again. And one of the girls at the store laughs. She goes, you really love to buy your cleaning products. And they had a few new items. There was a um, cleaning product that I have never seen there. And it was a 24-ounce bottle. And it also contained bleach and Clorox. No. Well, Clorox is bleach. So sorry. It contained something else that it was like for like a disinfectant. But it was a different type of name that they said for it. And on the bottle, and it was it was really big. The spray bottle looked like it was amazing. It was an all white bottle, but I didn't get that. And she was laughing because she says every time a new product comes out, you buy all the cleaning products. I said because the cleaning products for a dollar twenty five are worth it. A lot of their cleaning products are worth it. Now, um, I buy their Tuss stuff um, wipes, and I make my own by putting Lysol and uh, and. My sister gave me this little trick where she puts the Lysol or the Lysol Pine Sol into it, like some of it, and then she fills it up to the to the as much as she can. Uh, I use this much of the bottle of the little small ones that they be having at Dollar Tree, like this much, and then the rest I put this much of alcohol. So it's a disinfectant and it cleans. Um, it smells so good. But please be mindful that some of them are coming out with little black spots, and that is mold. So if you see that happening, throw them out. I have caught that I have some that has it and it's kind of crazy because they were not expired and they were still good until next year. So always be mindful for that. Always check for that because if you see any black spots when you open it up, it's because that's mold. So, and it, it's not a good thing. They Something must have happened or they have gotten most, moisture in it, something. So always be mindful, but... Yeah, so the girl was laughing and she was like, do you really use everything? I said, yes, I really do use everything. And I get a little upset when sometimes when I come, they don't have anything for weeks and months on out. So I racked up with whatever I can. Um, and with everything that's going on and every all the numbers spiking back up and these new variants that they got going on, Always stack up on all your disinfectants and all your cleaning products. You never know if there's going to be another big outbreak or, you know, some other new uh, variant to come out. So be on the lookout for everything that they got coming out. And with that being said, that is my whole haul. That is everything I, I got for today. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys always like everything I post and please like comment subscribe follow me on Instagram and again if anyone has used those pods for their clothing what is the best way to use it and what is the best way that you've tried to use it and um what do you prefer with clothes uh color clothes or just whites I I would love to hear everyone's feedback I would love to hear what everybody has to say um and also on that note, I want to show you my finished product of my Nomi that I got the ceramic. Yes, all of my paints are uh, deco art or um, crafts, uh, smart, or the, um, what's the other one? Um, the other one is uh, the Art C Ultra. This is, they're all from Michaels. All my art is from, all my paint stuff is from Michaels and my local little um, 
crafting little stations that I find if I can find them at like uh, my local uh, craft stores the little small ones here and there I usually get them for a dollar fifty but I thought this came out so cute I didn't do his hands I'm not sure if I'm going to do the hands I might just leave it white just because it matches and it still goes so well and then I haven't even painted the the hearts my husband suggested I should put glitter like I said the last time I do have glitter. I might just do it. I'm not sure. I might, might, but I might not. So I don't know. But this is what I've done so far. And I still need his Nomi brother to be done. So this is how it came originally. And this is how it has turned out. And it looks like I have not made no mistakes. But that is only because I use angled small brushes so that way you could get every cooks and cranny. But if you really pay attention to where the face is, I did mess up a little bit where the red is, but you can hardly ever see, hardly even see it. But this is the finished product. And I think it came out so gorgeous. And I used all types of different pinks um, and colors on there. I used light pink, red, um, a magenta. So yeah. With that being said, that is my whole haul, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please, like I said, like, subscribe, and show all the love you can. And leave all the comments you would like for me to answer back. Okay? Bye-bye. God bless.